Yo, yo, welcome back. Today's video is kind of different. I kind of promised myself that I wouldn't do these videos because I like to review products by actually holding them and scrolling through the features and, you know, giving you a real feel of what they're going to be like. However, one project that I came across on Kickstarter, I think that it'll be kind of interesting coming out in the near future. With that being said though, any project that kind of is coming from Kickstarter or a crowdfunding type thing, I'm gonna give you my personal disclaimer and that is, this is an investment of your money. These projects sometimes fall through. Now I cannot say that's gonna be the case for this project. So if you do decide to invest in that, you are taking that risk like any crowdfunding project. I will always be upfront and honest with you guys with anything that I produce on this channel. Full disclosure, I am not being paid for this tidbit. Um, I did email the creator of this project uh, back in December and didn't really hear anything back until a few days ago. My only request was that if I make this video, and if I kind of back this project in the sense that I would hopefully get a pre-production unit to have in hand and to showcase for that. Um, I haven't heard back about that yet, so I'm kind of making this video in my own good faith and hopes that something of it will come. With that being said, this project is called The Interrupt and it will be launched May 6th. Uh, 2025 on the Kickstarter page here and I will put links for all this in, in the description below There's not a lot that is said about it yet But if you go to the actual website there of interrupt-tech.com You can see that we have the ultimate portable tool for hackers and technology enthusiasts And what this is promising is kind of going to be a unit similar to a flipper zero and a U console um, it'll it'll be powered by a Raspberry Pi Zero Two. Uh, it'll be portable, compact design. Uh, there's not an exact size yet on it. What's cool though on this is the radio components that it kind of promises, and that'll be an integrated sub one gigahertz and NFC slash RFID um, radio. So we know that the Flipper Zero has those. We know that the uh, what is it, the BLE Nano Shark coming out here uh, in a few weeks or months uh, to be shipped. We'll have that as well. And then it'll have a QWERTY keyboard. So Uconsole also just uh, dropped their uh, Pico Calc. Uh, so I'm gonna say that this is gonna be very, very similar in size to that. And then it'll have a color screen, uh, which is a 3.5 inch color IPS screen. And also what the unit potentially will look like. Now, of course, these are all going to be kind of 3D rendered models. And again, uh, I haven't seen any actual unit yet. But uh, scrolling down more, we can see that we will have GPIO on the top. So that is exciting. Then, then we can add in some of our own peripherals and external modules that we create. It'll have infrared. And then we can see there that we have the, the sub gigahertz radio up on the if you're looking at the unit handheld up on the right hand side, upper right hand side, the color touchscreen um, might I add, and then we have the SD card slot there on the left hand side, and then we have the NFC RFID reader tap probably going to be right below the little joy pad. And then uh, scrolling down, we have a Linux OS. Now, with any of these projects coming out, you know, uh, firmware is going to be kind of the main key that's going to sell this project. And just like the Flipper Zero, the firmware on it and what the developers have done is incredible. Because uh, we have the app for our desktop, we have the app for iOS and for Android, plus the ability to upgrade, to update this via a web browser. Again, I haven't seen anything on the interrupt what that firmware is going to be like, but I really hope and uh, pray that it'll be very similar to, to the Flipper Zero because it makes it so seamless to do any kind of future firmware upgrades. So the hardware is always awesome, but the ability to have that kind of really custom and really seamless firmware is gonna be a big selling point. Uh, we uh, went over the CC1101 sub one gigahertz radio. It'll have Wi-Fi uh, for DR, beacon probing and packet monitoring. It'll have Bluetooth uh, to act as a peripheral devices and update some more. So there we have that, we have IR, to control TVs, radios, uh, ACs, and etc. Pretty much what the Flipper Zero can do as well. 
Then we have our GPIO. So G, uh, we have GPIO, SPI, UART, I2C, communication debugging like a pro. And then we have the NFC slash RFID. And then we have a 3.5 inch touchscreen, which we discussed just previously. And then the SD card. Uh, they don't have uh, the capacity for the SD cards yet. Kind of a important thing to feature, I believe. Uh, because people will ask that. I know they will. Again, this is a product that I I really hope that it takes off because this is going to be very, really cool to, to have uh, kind of a mini handheld hacking unit in your hand that is very similar to the Flipper Zero, but then also has the power of a Raspberry Pi. So it kind of gives you a little bit more oomph behind your processing power and what you potentially can do with it in the near future. So if this is something that interests you, uh, go check it out in the links in the description below. Again, this is not a paper motion by any means. That's all I have for today's video. And again, I kind of promise that I won't do too many, too many of these videos because uh, it, I really like to hold items in my hand, um, do the touch, the feel, go through the features and kind of dive into that from there and then give you my honest opinion. But this one kind of, uh, looks like it has a lot of potential behind it. And again, what it can offer, I think the community will like. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.